So my Kylie Cosmetics stuff just come in the mail. I'm so excited about it. Um, so literally, I have no makeup on. It is... I just got home and it was here. And I was like, yes! So let's open it up. I might need some scissors. Hold on. This is my very first Kylie Cosmetics order. Um, I do have a lip kit, but that was Marissa's and she didn't like it, so she gave it to me and I love it a lot. And that one I have is Coco K. So it comes in a box that's just black. Whoa! Hey! So then it's got some foam in it. Oh my god, how exciting! Oh my god, I'm excited! Excited! Okay. This is gonna go up on my wall. I'm excited. Oh my god, yes. Okay. Inside. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got two lip kits and two just the liquid lipsticks. So the lip kits I got were Malibu and Brown Sugar. So let's open Sesame. I'm so excited. This is everything. Malibu is the colour I've always looked at and just been like, I need that colour. Well, they changed the applicator. <gasps> Honestly, Malibu is probably my favourite colour. Oh, so good. This video is going to be a lot of unboxing videos, but they're only happening as I get them. So. Okay, this next one is brown sugar. I'm a bit tossing up between if I like it or not because I've watched a lot of uh, people talking about brown sugar and everyone's like, I love love bite, I love dirty peach brown sugar. But I love browns, so. Oh no, I can work with that. That's cool. I like it. That's brown sugar. And then the two that I got that were just the liquid lipsticks are Dolce K and Candy K. Because I don't really use lip liner that often, but the colours that I wanted that weren't as singular, obviously were just in a lip kit. So this one is Candy K. It's all got a different applicator. Interesting. All of them are in the same family of like nudes. That's Candy K down there. And then Dolce K I'm very excited about as well. I'm going to do Dolce K next to brown sugar. Oh, yes. And then that's Dolce. So Dolce, brown sugar, Malibu, candy cane. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Now, all I have to say is I'm so excited. And this video, I don't know what's next, probably maybe Colourpop or Colourpop or BH Cosmetic. Oh, Makeup Geek. I've got a lot of things coming in the mail. So, on to the next one. So, I just woke up because the door was going in, it is like 7.30 in the morning and I'm one of those people that once you get a parcel, you gotta open it the second you get it. So, here is my parcel. <laughs> I'm so like out of it right now. But this is from BH Cosmetics. I've been waiting for this parcel for the longest time, basically because I've been watching the tracking, like when I get a parcel, I watch the tracking like, I'm like watching it like a hawk, is basically what I'm trying to say here. Here is my box, so I've just taken it out of the box, uh, the packing slip off the box. So let's open the package now. So it comes in a box like this, and then has some paper, don't care about that, another packing slip. Alright, okay. See, it's been that long that I've forgotten what I've ordered. So let's get started. So the first thing on top is a Eye Essential 7-piece brush set. Um, when I saw brushes on BH Cosmetics, I was like, yes, I need that. Thank you. Add to cart. <laughs> so here are the brushes. So let's go and test the quality. And I like that these brushes have names. Or numbers really. Right, so these are the seven brushes. Oh, 
That's actually surprisingly really, really soft. Oh, good. I'm excited now. Next is a false, applica false eyelash applicator. Um, they only had hot pink. I really wanted a black one, but they only had hot pink on the site, so that's what we went with. This is what it looks like. So you put your lash here and you just... Oh. Um, I've been wearing lashes so often that um, I think I needed one of these. Next things next, I got the BH liquid liner. You guys know any liquid liner, I'm willing to give it a try because I love liquid liner. Like, I hardly ever go without wearing liquid liner on when I wear makeup. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the BH liquid liner. This is in the color Black Noir. It's got a different tip to what I was expecting but it is really, really black. So I'm willing to give this a shot. Nothing beats my L'Oreal Super Liner, but I'm willing to give this guy a shot. Next, I got two liquid lipsticks. You guys know I love liquid lipstick as well. The first one I have here is the color Clara, Clara, and it looks like this. It's kind of like, oh, that's really nice. Oh my God, that is surprising. It doesn't have a scent either, which I love. Oh my God. That's really nice. I'm so surprised. The next one is called, this one is called Muse and it looks like this. And I'm gonna show you this swatch. Watch this swatch. Like, full, like opacity to the max. And it wasn't even streaky. None of them were streaky either. And these were like, oh, I can't even remember how much it was. $8.50 US dollars. Like, that's cheap. Next, I got two glitter eyeliners. Um, the reason being, I love doing stacked liner, so you know, like black liner, and then putting glitter on top. And I don't have any like gold, silvers, stuff like that. So it's time to get some. So the first one I got is the. Oh my god, this is really pretty. This is called Rapture. It looks like this. Really, really glittery. I'm very excited about it. Oh, let me show you this one. Love. And then the next one I got, I think, is. Yes, this is the color Synergy and it is like a iridescent kind of beautiful liner or on the clear side, which I love to put clear ones in my inner corner. So this is probably where this one will go and that's it there. So you can see it's got like green. Yes, Merits. I got the a brush because I needed a new brow brush. So this is the Vegan V10 brush. Now, they only had the vegan option for this brush, which I don't have a problem with. I completely support vegans and all that sort of stuff and cruelty-free and all that sort of things. So, yes. Okay. So the brush looks like this. It's got a spoolie on one end and then the brush here. Um, I do believe I got brow pomades from BH Cosmetics, so this will be perfect for that. Next, I got the BH Studio Pro Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I was running out of my skin Denavia and I did not, with capital not, want to order another one of those because they're so expensive. So I'm willing to try out something else. So I got the BH Cosmetics Makeup Setting Spray. It comes with a little pump and this is closed. So I'm very, very excited. I hopefully it doesn't have a strange scent. It just smells like bubbles when you're a kid. Next, I got in this little package, I got my brow pomades I was just talking about. Now, I got two because I didn't know what color I would be or if I would need to, you know, do a light and then a fade into a dark. So I got two. So I got, these are called waterproof brow pomades. I got the shade medium and the color brunette. So, well that look actually looks quite good. All right, so that's the first one I got. It's kind of dark, but everybody knows I love dark brows, so I don't have a problem with that. And plus I do a lot of people's makeup, so. And this is a light shade, which I love as well. So I can't wait to give these a try and see how they go. I'll definitely let you know how they go. All right, and now onto the fun part, the palettes. Okay, so the palettes have come in this. So I got three palettes, two from YouTubers and one just out of my own curiosity. So we'll start with the one out of my own curiosity. So I got the Foil Eyes 28 color eyeshadow palette. So this is what the palette looks like. Obviously with Makeup Geek, I would get the neutral shades, that's it. But I thought the price of this, $12, literally you get 28 colors for 
$12 and Makeup Geek for one is $10 so I was like this is a steal. Obviously the quality is not going to be as high as Makeup Geek but I'm ready to swatch. So I'm going to do this one. Well, they feel quite nice actually but look at the pigment on it. Like that's impressive. Okay moving on my next palette is from Carly Bidal. I've been looking at this palette for so long and I've never been like wanting to place an order of its Cosmetics just for one thing. So when this was still in stock when I was buying all this other stuff, I was like added to the card. So it's so pretty this packaging. Love it. So this has Carly Bidal all over its very beautiful, sleek, magnetic palette. Oh my god. God, this is a gorgeous palette. This is the palette. Very me. <laughs> very neutral. Very shimmery. The highlighters I'm very excited about. Yes. And then the other palette I got was the Shanexo palette. And the Shanexo palette has a little card here. So this is the pack packaging. Hers comes in a box where Kylie's didn't. And this is the palette. So it looks like this. That's the eyeshadow side. And then the other side is lipstick. Which I don't think I'll get much use out of this. But I'll get heaps of use out of this side. Which is the eyeshadow. So time for some swatches. Um. Oh! Yes! Hello pigment! How are you going? Good morning to you. So that is the BH Cosmetics Shanexo palette. And that is everything I ordered. So. On to the next one. Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> so, the doorbell's gone, and it is the next day from the BH Cosmetics stuff. So, today we have Colourpop. <laughs> so, let's open this box. So, from what I remember that I ordered, because it's been a while, um, I used their, um, was it free international shipping? I think it was. Um, it was amazing. So, I got some eyeshadows because I've never used eyeshadow from Colourpop before or it's pretty Look at that pretty all right foam okay this is so pretty so what I got was three highlighters and two quads of eyeshadow so the highlighters that I got the first one I got is called Spoon. Ooh, it's like a cream kind of texture, but it's not. That's really pretty. I love that. The next one I got is, oh my god, is called Lunch Money. And this one is more of a like champagne more color. Oh, that's really pretty. That's that one there, that's Lunch Money. And then the last one I got was a little bit darker because like yet again I do people's makeup, I need variety. The last one I got is called Candyman and it looks like that. This one would even look really good as an eyeshadow but it's super pigmented, like check that out. So that is the three highlighters I got. They're so pigmented and I'm very excited about them. So the two quads that I got are K-pop and where the light is from Kathleen Lights. So we'll start with the Kathleen Lights one. Just slides out like that. And then the eyeshadows are in here. The four eyeshadows look like this. So like I said, I've never had any um, ColourPop eyeshadows. So this first one is called Cornelius. And it is like a matte, soft brown by MAC kind of color. And that's it there. Beautiful. The next one I have is called Glow and it is like a I would say just like Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek but a little bit whiter but it's matte as well. Love. Brown with like gold reflex in it. Really really pretty. Love. <laughs> and then the last one in the quad is called Kathleen Lights and this one is like a gold bronze kind of color. That's really pretty. That one has a lot of me in it as well. Love! So that's the Where the Light Is by Kathleen Light's um, quad. Okay, and then the next one and the last thing I got is called K-Pop. K 
Okay, so the first one here is called K-Pop Crenshaw, I think. And this and this one is a matte color. This is definitely more up my alley, the more of a darker brown. The next one is called K-Pop Wilshire, and it is also a matte shade. <laughs> the next one is called K-Pop Beverly. Maybe just Beverly. Maybe they're not all called K-pop. Hey guys! And this one is a also a matte shade, and this is like a berry burgundy kind of color. Beautiful. And then the last one is a pearlized shadow, and it is called Sunset Boulevard. It's really, really pretty. So that is everything I got from ColourPop. Um, things that I have never used before, so I, I have a lot of ultra matte lippies. Um, I think that's all I have from Colourpop. <laughs> so yes, so on to the next one, which is hopefully Makeup Geek. Maybe it's tomorrow. Who knows? Okay, so slight change in plan. Turns out I haven't got a clip of me showing you the box and <laughs> unboxing the stuff I got. So this one section is Makeup Geek and um, I'll show you from where we have, which is like halfway through. But I was talking about the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette, so yeah. So yes, that was the last shade there. Very, very nice. And I can't wait to douse my face in this. So that is the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. I don't know if I'll keep the sleeve or not. But for now, I will put it back in the sleeve. I have been eyeing and wanting for so long, and I've just never been like, okay, let's place an order with Makeup Geek just to get the palette. So this is the Manny MUA Makeup Geek collaboration palette. And especially since it was limited edition, it was like a thousand or something left. I was like, well, let's just put it in your cart and buy it. So that's what I did. So this is the palette, same sort of packaging. <coughs> Excuse me as um, the Kathleen highlighter palette and then on the back it's got the names of the shadows and like a moon which is very Manny and I love Manny, he's one of my favourite channels to watch. Oh beautiful! So it has a very nice mirror and these are the shades! I'm very excited about it. I've never tried a Makeup Geek foil shadow and I know that one of these shades is a foil shadow. So let's do a swatch shall we? So the first shade is called Luna, and it is a, a very shimmery, very, very nice colour. And it looks like that. I don't know why I swatched it right there. Okay, the next one is called Beaches of Cream, which I have this shade already, and I love it, so yay, hang on. And it's right there. Very awkward spot to body swatch it. Alright, this next one is a foil shadow. Oh, very nice. And this one is called... Artemis. Look at the sheen. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna put that on my eyes today. Next one is called. So this is Cosmopolitan. The next shade is called Sora. And this is a matte shade. There. The next one is called Farape, and I'm pretty sure I have this shade as well. Beautiful. Next one is called Aphrodite, which is this one. Beautiful shade, look at that. It's a pigment in this fuck. Okay, the next one is called Mars, and it is the true red shade in this palette. I'm very excited to play around with this shade. And that's it there. And then the last one is called Insomnia. I have this pigment. Wow, it's really soft and hella pigmented. Oh my god. So yeah, I have this one as a pigment and I love it, and then I pressed it myself, and now I've got one that's actually been pressed for Makeup Geek. Look at the shade on that. So good. So that is the Manny MUA palette, and I'm very excited to play around with this bad boy and do some tutorials with it. So yeah. So that's all I got from Makeup Geek. I wanted those two palettes a lot, so yeah, that's all I got. And that is the final installment of this unboxing collective haul. So, I want to say thank you for watching. Sorry that I was no makeup in any of them, but where I live, the post only um, delivers in the mornings and it's like 6.30, 7.30 
8.30 in the mornings normally and I'm only asleep at that time. So, that's why my appearance looks like this in every video. Like, look at my hair. Where's this? So yeah, thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other online recommendations, shops, products, leave them down in the comments below because I'm always looking for stuff to buy. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.